This is part 6 of JavaScript with ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to create a watermark in an ASP.NET text box control using JavaScript. Let me explain what I mean. On this HTML page, we have this search text box. And within this text box, we have this default text. Enter your search term here. The moment this text box receives focus, that is when we click inside this text box, look at what happened to that default text. It disappears. And then we can type our search term within the text box. Since we have some characters typed within the text box, at this point if the text box loses focus, nothing is going to happen. Whatever we have typed in the text box, that text is retained. But then if we delete all these characters and if the text box loses focus, look at what happened to the default text. It reappears. So this is watermark. Let's see how to display this watermark in an ASP.NET text box control. Let's flip to Visual Studio. Here I have an empty ASP.NET web application project. Onto this web form, let's drag and drop a text box control. We also want to display the literal text which says search. So let's type it there. And then within this search text box, the default text that we want is enter your search term here. So let's set text attribute. And the font color of the default text should be gray. So let's set four color attribute to gray. And let's also set width for the text box. Let's set it to 250 pixels. With this, let's go ahead and run WebForm 1. Look at this. When WebForm 1 loads, we have that default text displayed in gray color. Enter your search term here. But then when we click inside the text box, that is when the text box receives focus, that default text doesn't disappear. So we need to write JavaScript to clear that watermark. So let's flip to Visual Studio and include a section for script. Let's name this function clear watermark. And this function is going to receive two parameters. The first parameter is the default text. And the second parameter is the text box control from which we want to clear the watermark. Now, when do we want to clear the watermark? Whenever this text box receives focus. So text box control has got on focus client side event. So on focus equals we want to call this clear watermark function. And this function has two parameters, the default text. Default text is this one. Enter your search term here. So we are going to pass that. And the second parameter is the text box control itself. And let's use this keyword to reference this text box one control. All right, so when the text box control receives focus, we want to clear that watermark. Now, when do we want to clear that? Whenever the text within the text box matches this default text, that's only when we want to clear it. If the end user has typed you know, a string like this, for example, Prajim, we don't want to delete that. So if I have typed something like that, and when the text box receives focus, I don't want to lose that value. We still want to retain it. That's why we want to check what is the text that is present within the text box. If it matches the default text, that's only when we want to clear that watermark. So here we are going to include an if condition. If text box control dot value equals default text. And notice what we are passing as default text, our default text, that is enter your search term here. So if it matches that, then go ahead and set value to an empty string. And let's also change the font color. So text box control dot style dot color equals black. OK, so let's go ahead and run this page. 
look at this the moment this text box receives focus that default text should disappear and that's what happens but then you know when we click away from the text box that is when the text box loses focus we want that watermark to reappear but that's not happening so let's go ahead and write another function to create the watermark when the text box loses focus so let's actually make a copy of this function let's name this create watermark again this function is going to receive the same two parameters default text and the text box control now if the text box is empty that's only when we want to create the watermark if the user has typed nothing into the text box so for example if I type Prajim and then when the text box loses focus we don't want to create the watermark we want to retain the value that the user has typed right but if the text box is empty and at that point if the text box loses focus that's when we want to create the watermark so we need to check the length property if it's equal to zero then the value within the text box control is going to be the default text that we pass to this function and we want the color to be gray because we want the watermark color to be gray that's why we are setting um, the font color of the text box to gray in this case and then we want to call this function when blur event occurs on the text box so on blur equals create watermark and this function is going to receive the same two arguments so let's copy them from here All right. So let's go ahead and run this. So when the web page loads, we have that default text. When the text box receives focus, it disappears and then we can type our search term in there. Look at that, the search term um, color is black. And then at this point, if the text box loses focus, nothing happens. But then if we delete all these characters, look at this, at the moment there's nothing within the text box. At this point, if the text box loses focus, the watermark reappears. Thank you for listening and have a great day.